My name is Greg. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do a platinum silicone. This is Q16. Uh, I believe it's American Solar Supply sells this online. Um, I bought, we're completely off grid out here in uh, Arizona, and we're adding some solar panels to our system. And as you can see, these ones are cracked previously. I bought them like that. Um, I got all 10 of these panels for like $200. So obviously the savings are huge. Um, the thing is, is that they're all cracked. So you just got to reseal them. And all the current, you know, all the PV current that comes through these things works totally fine. It's just a matter of cosmetics at this point. So I'm just resealing them for the elements uh, just to keep the moisture off from tearing them down. So this is the uh, Q-Sil 216. And uh, it's a two-part epoxy. It comes pre-mixed, uh, not pre-mixed, but it comes in a 10 to 1, two different cans. You just mix the two together. Um, this is the second coat that we're doing on these ones. So I'm just doing half of a 16 ounce. This is parts A and B already mixed into this one. I'm doing about half per deal. You could spray this, but uh, to be honest, because it is oil based, it's a lot messier. And at the end of the day, it's much, much easier just to get a cheap roller cover and uh, just roll it on there. So we've already done all these other ones. So all I'm going to do, kind of like any other oil-based product, I'm just going to roughly spread it out from side to side. Hit a couple of the thicker areas that need to be filled where the cracks were. These ones in particular, I believe were from uh, one of the retailers. And I, from what I understand, when these panels crack, they do an obvious break with like a hammer which is the dark spots. They'll just bust them to make it abundantly clear that they are broken. Makes no difference to us, but now that I've got it somewhat uh, distributed from left to right, I'll go through and then just spread it out lengthwise. And at the end of the day, it's a very simple process. You just wanna be somewhat uh, methodical and how you how you set everything up today it's not very windy and not a lot of dust we did have quite a few bugs land on the very first coat but throwing it on here with a roller like this it's going nice and thick and you can tell it's filling a lot of the cracks and pores um, because once it dries you can show that the lights not refracting at bad angles it's kind of like looking at a paint job on a car when it wants the clear coat is cracked or peeling, you can tell that the light's refracting and it tells on you. But once this stuff dries, it's showing a consistent sheen. All those areas with the big cracks, you just wanna make sure you get plenty of material over those. And whenever you stop or start your roller, like you'll notice me, I kind of shake it there just a tiny bit, just to make sure you get plenty of product on the ends. So again, this is the second coat. Um, I'm gonna kind of look at it once this dries. I might throw a third one on here. Um, the total amount of product I believe we've used is, I think, uh, for 10 panels, two coats. I want to say, what, about seven of these? Yeah, just about. Yeah, roughly about seven of these 16-ounce kits. So think of it this way. One of these 16-ounce kits does three panels on the first coat and two panels on the second coat. So, yeah, it's roughly around seven of these. So, again, three panels and these are three and a half by uh, 39 by I think 78 inches uh, as far as the panels so yep that's about it all right take care